Yo, YouTubers. <clears throat> By the way, in my latest um, uploads, I haven't put the titles in of the drinks and stuff because I can't be bothered. It's the worst part of uploading anything. You know what I mean? You can, I could just throw a thousand videos up, but you've got to go through and put the titles and all that business. You know what I mean? And, uh, so, at the moment, I've got. Uploaded a few beer reviews. I haven't put any information in the, in the title. You've just got to watch the video and see what the drink is. Same with this one tonight. I'll just upload it. Now, I thought I tried this and I just checked me thing. And I, I haven't... I, I've been to Lidl. Now, this is on the shelf in Lidl now with, you know, in the normal beers. It's not like a um, seasonal thing or a beer festival thing. I've noticed this on the shelf in Lidl. <coughs> so, I'll pick one up. Well, I'll pick three up, actually. 71 Brewing or 71 Brewing Luminous Nights New England Double IPA 7.1% that was 7.4 7.4 yeah I thought that was a smudge 7.4% guys It's going to be good Luminous Nights Is an amped up version of L Luminous Lights With extra hops and malt This New England double IPA Provides a big tropical hit Both on aroma and taste With low bitterness to showcase the yeast and hops Yeah. Dundee, 71 Brewing, 71 Brewing Company, Dundee. Yeah, so there's luminous lights. And I don't know whether I tried that as well, but... I'm a bit bored tonight. I've got my chores over with for the week and... <clears throat> Let's have a drink. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. Hide the logo. Be a Moretti. They'll be making millions off me, wouldn't they, if they were getting advertising? Millions and millions, mate. Looks like a double New England. A New England double IPA. Should look muddy water. Bit of that free punch, free juice punch look. Massive head, as you always expect. Muddy water, very unsavoury looking muddy water. Just looks like, like like a cider, like a scrumpy cider or something. I'll chill out for a bit. Just let that settle there for a second. Yeah. Just chill for a while. While I wait for this head to, you know... See it on the camera. Your head is a, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. The head is a pain in the ass. Oh, I've been working on my bicycles all day, swapping tyres and everything. Oh man, got my electric bicycle going great, guys. So could be on for some long rides and you know videos and stuff. That's all I needed, mate. I needed an electric vehicle. With no limits on the battery. Be interesting doing a run on my bike with two batteries, see how far I get. But anyway, back to the beer view. Lovely, lovely design. Lovely psychedelic kind of trippy colours. Collectible label. I'm in the mood for this. I'm really in the mood. Oh, look at that. I can't even get through the head, mate. It's fresh. It's citrusy. It's mangoey. It's all the usual 
Marmalade. Let's get through this head over. Okay, didn't get much of a taste of that. Luminous Nights, New England double IPA from 71 Brewing Company, 7.4%. Up early. Up early. Hmm. Kind of peachy, apricotty. I mean, it's not bitter, but it's got a like a, a delayed, almost whiny. That's nice, that. Almost whiny. Reminds me of sherry on your palate. Yeah, lovely wine in a syrup. It kind of, it's boom. I'm 7.4% here, mate. Boom, you know what I mean? It's got that kind of punch to it on your palate. It does remind me of a wine, a white wine maybe, or a... Oh, yeah. And this is a regular now. This is on the shelf in Little Guys, by the looks of things. You know, one of the regular shelves. So, 7.4%. Big hitter. Quite pungent tasting. Lovely warm. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. I like that. You need a cum shot, don't you, mate? You need to see this. For yourselves. As they come shot. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, folks. I know. Sorry for being a bell end. Huh? Just, you know, if you've got any complaints, just tell me in the comment section. Say, Bruce, you were being a bell end on this review. But the, you were, but the beer was nice. <clears throat> yeah. Warmth. I mean, flavour-wise, there's not much going on. It's kind of like like a tame muskiness, I suppose, with a bit like a bit apricotty. But that warm, it reminds you when you eat it. Um, oh, it's quite nice. That it's quite uh, very drinkable. Very drinkable. The water's fantastic, as I always say. I always say the water. In a way, when I review these beers, I'm, I want the water to be fantastic, and then there's a bonus. You know what I mean? That's basically what I do. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a fine drink, that guy. Isn't that a regular in little? And um, I highly recommend it. I've got, I've got three of these to try. I've got. I'll just see how they, you know, usually I just buy one to try and something else will work. Bought three cans of this. That's me um, relaxing for tonight, you know. Chill out and go to bed. Or play on the battlefield or whatever. I might have a go at football. So you can witness for yourselves how tragic it's been for me playing football online. Like, um, I was winning a game the other day, 3-0, and I got B4-3. It really upset me, you know, because I was really... I was playing great. I was like, I could feel the computer coming at me. I could feel it. I was like, the score will go, okay, 3-1, 3-2, 3-3, 4-3. fourth goal was like the kill shot, you know what I mean? It's just like, <laughs> you're taking that taking out of me, you knobheads. What are you doing? You're just taking it out of me. You fucking balance. <laughs> Oh fuck! Sorry, to swear and that. Sorry, ladies. Sorry, ladies. Swear and that. 
love the candy design. Um, like I say, the tastes. Um, <sighs> lovely mouthfeel. It's lovely and fizzy. The hops are very delicate. It's double dry hop. No, it's dry hop, doesn't it, isn't it? No, double IPA. It's double dry strength IPA, isn't it? Double strength IPA. 7.4%. It's really nice and warm. I mean, I'm immediately feeling good off this, you know what I mean? I'm immediately, I'm thinking, I didn't even feel like a drink, you know what I mean? I thought, I'll sit here with you. Mate, it's making me feel happy. Lovely and warm. The Scots have got that, haven't you? I've been buzzing off Brew Dogs lately as well, you know what I mean? The Scottish have got it like uh, Loch Lomond. The Scottish beers have been wonderful lately. <clears throat> this is no exception to the rule. Luminous Nights from 71 Brewing gets 10 out of 10. Yes. Bit of a rewarm custard flavour. was kind of dead. I think apricot is... Uh, apricot... It reminds me of apricot more than anything. I don't really like apricot, so I could never eat them as a kid. But it's that flavour. It's just like a bitter. There is, they're saying there's no bitterness in the description, but there is. It's, but the same bitterness as an apricot, not a grapefruit. And it's quite subtle and nice, and I'm feeling warm and happy. And this is one of the drinks that just make you feel good and happy and pissed as a fart. It's a 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching. See you later.